Let's solve eelfish problem in this video. We know eelfish kills its prey with the current. The question is how this fish kills the prey without shocking itself. To calculate how much current it produces, let's take an example. Eelfish generates current with a biological cells called as electroplakes. Each one has a EMF of a 0.15 ohms and its internal resistance is 0.25 ohms. There are 5000 electroplakes in a row uh, from the head to its tail and there are 100 rows throughout its body. Now if the circuit is completed by the uh, water surrounding these fish and if its uh, resistance is 500 ohms, let's calculate how much current is produced by this eel fish. So to start with, we are going to see the first row. It has a 5000 uh, EMF and 5000 internal resistances. So to calculate the total or effective EMF, we are going to add them all. So E1, E2, it goes up to E5000. Since each one is 0.15 ohms, so we are going to multiply 5000 times 0.15 ohms, which gives us 750 ohms. And similarly, if you calculate the effective internal resistance, we have to add them all. Everything is in a series. So there are 5000 uh, resistances. So we have to multiply uh, 5000 because each one is a 0.25 ohms and we will have 1250 ohms. Now let's draw the equivalent uh, circuit uh, of uh, each row now because we have calculated each row has uh, effective EMF uh, 750 ohms with internal resistance 1250 ohms. So this, so there is the second row and like that goes up to 100 rows. This is the 100th one. So 100, 750 ohms and then this is also 1250 ohms. This is 100 row. Now we can draw another equivalent circuit because if you see this part is actually 750 volts and it is connected to parallel connection of resistors. So you can draw in this way. This is the 750 volts EMF and it is connected with parallel resistors like that and there are 100 so each one is 1250 ohms this is the equivalent uh, circuit of this one now let's calculate the effective resistance in parallel combinations this one we are going to calculate the effective uh, resistance of this parallel combination so we know how to calculate reaf it will be 1 over reaf equals 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 it goes up to 1 divided by 100 so it will be, we know each one is 1,250, so we have to multiply it by 100. So you will have 1,250 ohms. Now, 1 over R effective is this much. So R effective will be inverse of it. So 1,250 divided by 100, which is equal to 12.5 ohms. Now let me draw another uh, equivalent circuit now. So we have 1750 volts 
and we have the effective resistance of 12.5 ohms and now this is connected to the resistance of water which is 500 ohms this is how the complete uh, circuit looks like so let's calculate the current now i equals e divided by r plus r this is voltage divided by resistance so we are right so we have 750 divided by this r is this is 12.5 i'm sorry 12.5 plus 500 ohms so this will give 750 divided by 512.5 which is equal to 1.5 amperes approximately and if you see this is uh, this 1.5 ampere current is distributed over 100 rows so which will be uh, 0.0015 ampere per row so this is a very less current so this is very less current and that's the reason the fish is not shocking itself but it kills its prey and that's it thank you